Until a few months ago, Wendy Davis was a little-known Democratic state senator in Texas. But her marathon defense of abortion rights drew national attention. And today, Davis announced she's running for governor. Manuel Bohorkas looks at her chances. I am proud to announce my candidacy to be the 48th governor of this great state. The early odds are against Wendy Davis. It's been nearly 20 years since Texas voters put a Democrat in statewide office. The state senator stepped into the national spotlight with pink sneakers during a 13-hour filibuster of new abortion restrictions here. We spoke with her in June. My voice is one that's reflective of people who vote because I have a D next to my name or whether it's a woman who may typically vote as a Republican but who believes that her personal liberty should be respected and she's going to vote for someone who's going to assure that. She already has a million dollar war chest, but the Republican she'll likely face, Texas Attorney General Greg Abbott, has $25 million on hand. Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal is chairman of the Republican Governors Association. I think she'll get a lot of national headlines, a lot of national money, a lot of special interest groups from the outside of Texas. I think inside Texas, Greg's going to do just fine. Democrats have become hopeful about Texas because its demographics are shifting. By 2025, the percentage of white voters may drop below 50 percent, and the percentage of Hispanic voters may rise from 26 to as much as 44 percent. Democrat gains here could influence American politics. The state has 26 Republican members of Congress. This week, Texas Senator John Cornyn released this campaign ad as a warning. Join the fight to keep Texas red. Nora, the election is still more than a year away, but radio ads against Davis will start airing this weekend in both English and Spanish. And Melba Horkes, thank you.